Hello and welcome to the Time This Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to discuss the difference between open and closed control loops. So let's start with what is a control loop. A control loop is a group of components working together to achieve and maintain the desired value of a system variable by controlling the value of another variable. Each control loop has at least one input and one output. So let's make some room and talk about VAV box control loops. So there are usually several control loops in a VAV box. For example, the thermostat has the set point and zone temperature. The VAV box will have a controller and a damper controlled by an actuator. So the thermostat is talking to that controller. Let's draw a little ductwork and a diffuser into our space real quick. And the controller modulates the VAV box damper by changing the position of an actuator through an output signal from the controller. The desired outcome is that the space temperature maintains set point. So set point and zone temperature are the inputs and the signal going to the actuator is the output. There's another input to the VAV box controller and that's the pressure signal from the flow sensor. So let's draw in an inlet with a flow cross in it and connect that to the controller. So this determines the airflow of the VAV box which is taken to the count with the set point and space temperature inputs to determine the output signal to the actuator. So now let's look at the difference between open and closed loops. In an open loop, the output is based on an input, but the output doesn't affect the input. An example of an open loop would be the use of occupancy sensors to control the schedule of a VAV box. Let me get rid of closed for now to make a little bit more room. Another example of an open loop would be using an outdoor air temperature sensor in your control loop. So getting an input from an occupancy sensor or an outdoor air temperature sensor could result in the VAV box going into cooling or heating mode, which would send an output signal to the damper, but the cooler the space gets does not affect the occupancy sensor or outdoor air temperature. So that's an open loop. So for a closed loop, let's look at my example earlier. The space temperature and set point inputs tell the VAV box to modulate the damper and provide more or less airflow. The airflow changes the space temperature until the set point is met, which changes the inputs to the control loop. So that's a closed loop. So that's open and closed control loops. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for taking a time out with us.